It is now a well-known fact that Nigerian politicians owe no allegiance to any political party, but to their pockets and personal interests. Hence, the ease at which they dump their parties for new ones if they fail to promote their agenda. So it comes as no surprise that an avalanche of defections has begun in Imo state following the emergence of Hope Uzodima as the new governor of that state. Nine members of the Imo State House of Assembly from the People's Democratic Party PDP, All Progressive Grand Alliance (APGA) and Action Alliance (AA) on Tuesday defected to the All Progressive Congress (APC). Before the defections, the PDP had 13 members in the House, the AA had eight, while APGA had six members, making a total of 26 members. With these defections, APC, which had no lawmaker in the House, now has nine members. PDP now has a reduced membership strength of 9. AA lost half its members, reducing to 4, while ABGA lost just one member to drop to 5 members. The Supreme Court had on January 14, 2020, in a controversial ruling, nullified the election of Emeka Ihedioha as the governor of Imo State having served just 7 months in office. While some legal experts may comfortably explain the technicalities that led to the Supreme Court's January 14 ruling, many Nigerians are still struggling to understand how the APC candidate, Hope Uzadimma, who came fourth in the polls behind Uche Wosu of Action Alliance and Abgas candidate Ifan Yararume, emerged governor. Mosu, who is also an in-law to the immediate past governor of the state, Rocha Sokoracha, withdrew his appeal following an earlier Supreme Court ruling declaring his candidacy illegitimate, while Ararume, having come third in the elections, did not even contest Ihe Dionha's emergence in the March 9th elections. In its decision, the court sacked the governor because Uzodima and the APC were wrongly excluded from the scores from 388 polling units. Therefore, with the addition of these results from the 388 polling units, Uzodima polled a majority of the lawful votes and was declared the winner by the Apex Court. Meanwhile, members of the People's Democratic Party PDP on the 19th and 20th of January staged peaceful rallies in Imo State and Abuja, the federal capital territory, to protest the Supreme Court ruling. In Abuja, the protest led by the national chairman of the party, Uche Sekondus, former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi, Senator Enyinaya Abaribe and other party stalwarts marched to the Supreme Court to express their anger over the judgment that sacked Emeka Ihedioha as governor of Imo State. We await the effect of the protest, if any, as the Supreme Court has the final say in all constitutional matters. Meanwhile, from the defections being witnessed at the Imo House of Assembly, it seems that politicians in the state are adjusting and realigning themselves to move on with the government of the day.